welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all having a great weekend. Um, I hope you are drinking water and washing your feet and all that good stuff. Um, if some of you may have seen on Instagram, um, I had probably one of the toughest weeks ever at work this week. Um, I'm not going to get into detail, um, but it's definitely motivated me to hopefully become, no, correction. One of my amazing commissioners gave me a little speech on anxiety and I'm incredibly thankful. So I will become a full-time artist one day. Let's manifest that. I will become one. I will follow my dreams. It's going to happen. So it's definitely motivated me to work harder to get there. So here we are. I will hopefully not be skipping any weekends. I've been getting a lot of commission work and I'm super excited because it's mostly D&D or WoW characters actually. The most recent one was. So without further ado, today's video is the process video of Jester from Critical Role. If you don't know what Critical Role is, it is these this wonderful, wonderful group of voice actors who play D&D and they didn't just start playing D&D for, you know, to get noticed or anything like that. Like these guys used to play at one of their houses and someone decided to start recording it and it is seriously amazing. So please do check it out. I will include links to Critical Role's Twitch and their YouTube channel down below. Um, this is Laura, Laura Bailey's character, Jester, who is my all-time favorite because she's very much the kind of character that I like to play. You know, pretty badass, but also very charismatic and adorable. This picture was actually created um, due to the help of my wonderful patrons. Once a month, I ask what people would like to see for the monthly fan art. And once we have multiple suggestions, I will do a poll and critical critical role one thank goodness and I I selected the character that I was most down to draw at the time because you know if an artist is interested in what they're drawing it always turns out better and I am incredibly proud of how Jester turned out like disgustingly proud I'm so proud um, and actually it got selected as um, one of the art pieces on the Critical Role website this week. So that's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> I had a couple different friends like reach out to me and be like, yo, did you know what's on there? And like, holy smokes, seriously so cool. And that means that Liam, who is one of the voice actors, hand selected them, which is super cool. Um, <laughs> seriously so cool. It, I'm, I'm mind blown. So anyways, I really wanted to share the full process video with you. This is one of the first drawings I did that had like, teeth like I don't draw teeth very often so I was super nervous about it um but yeah uh this video I will actually be talking about um a couple of things or sorry a few things to consider when you are receiving a commission or when you are commissioning an artist so this is actually for artists and commissionees commissioners commissioners I think <laughs> so without further ado here is three tips I will go into detail about most of them and I hope that they help you guys. I've done a previous video about commissions. I will also link that somewhere and uh, yeah, let's get started. So my very first tip is um, something I recently decided and I find it has helped a lot with motivation. Um, it can also be the cause of anxiety. So be careful. I will say that um, if that's something that you're worried about, please consider how many commissions you're taking and also please consider this. A due date can be a good idea, not for everybody. However, for me, it has motivated me to get work done faster, to focus, and it's been lovely. So definitely give that a shot. Um, but like I said, it can cause anxiety. So if you're not ready for that, um, make sure ahead of time you discuss this with your commissioner, what the time limit is, anything like that. Um, it's really, really important to have these kinds of details mapped out before even taking payment if you can because you have to see if you can mentally do this art is very much a mental thing um to getting it done especially so definitely discuss this ahead of time my second tip and this is highly important um and i've learned this along the way my most recent commission has been amazing at it 
Um, so you need quality references. And I'm not just talking about, you know, like the character, like you need references on the leather strap of the necklace, like what's it supposed to look like? How does it wrap around, you know, the charm? You need references on the type of paint, on the type of eyeshadow. You need references on the hair color. Like you want everything you can so you can create this character exactly how they envision it. Maybe it's a drawing of another person. However, I mostly do character work and being able to have every bit and making sure that I'm bringing this character to life for somebody by having all those references is so important. My third and final tip is to discuss personality and emotions. This kind of goes with the quality references, but I feel like it's not taken in a lot. Is this person smiling crazy like Jester? Is this person stoic? Is this person, you know, kind of grumpy? It will affect it a lot. Is this person super goofy? Like it will very much or it could or should affect the facial features. I mostly do portraits, so this is really important. Um, Jester here is clearly mid-laugh. She's having a good time where my most recent WoW commission, she's kind of, I, I don't know if I would say stoic, but she's very like calm in the face and she didn't even have eyebrows. So I had to figure that out. And I think it's just really important that you also consider personality and emotions in a character when you are drawing them. That is it for tips. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is one of my favorite drawings I've ever done and I'm incredibly proud of it. Um, and yeah, I really hope that everybody has an amazing week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.